Hello, my name is Brandon Walner with What You Want Productions, and we're here today to review the Novastar UHD Pro Junior. Little background about us, we do a lot of live LED wall uh, events for bar mitzvahs, weddings, corporate, you name it, we've done it. Um, we have used a bunch of the Novastar uh, product line for our events, and now that we have the UHD Pro Junior, we do not want to go back. We love this unit. We want to use it all the time. We refer it to all of our customers uh, for many different reasons. But before I get into all the technical specs and the usage and all that, let me just tell you what we have set up today. So today we just have two small panels running. One is a 1.2 millimeter LED panel. The other one is a 1.5 LED uh, panel. Um, we have them just running independently on a single line. And then we have two laptops running content. Uh, right now we're just on one layer, but later I'll show you how to switch in between layers. Okay, so let's get into the unit itself. Unit itself, great little unit, a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger than some of the other units, but for great reason. Uh, this baby will push 10,400,000 pixels. That is a lot. Compared to the other processor that we used to use, the uh, Novasar UHD Pro, at 2.3 million pixels, this baby does four, a little bit more than four times that. So we love it for that. The front panel, very similar to a lot of the other uh, units, has your uh, multiple switching, has your uh, little dial so you can get into the, the menus and all that. We don't use that as much. We like to use the Novastar uh, processor, Smart L or sorry, Novastar software, Smart LCT or Nova uh, LCT. Um, the one thing that this processor does has, which we like a lot, are these little retractable handles. Um, we do not usually take ours in a case because a lot of times we're limited on space and we like to put it on our table or underneath the table. And this is a great way of picking it up, putting it down without having the unit actually get damaged. Um, so we love that as well. Now, on the back of the unit, lots of I.O. on it. Starting at the bottom, we have the output, which is 16 independent channels of Ethernet to connect to all of your LED wall panels. Um, for control, we have uh, Ethernet and USB. Right now, we are hooked up to the USB to control and address and assign um, the panels themselves. You also have a Genlock in and out and an RS-232, which will help you uh, for more advanced features that we're not gonna get into, but you can do cascading of processors, adding multiple ones to create a bigger uh, image. Uh, now for the input itself. We have four DVI inputs on this guy, which is great. Um, we also have one uh, display port, one uh, HDMI 2.0 in and out, and then two 12G SDI inputs and loop outs, which is amazing if you're doing the large scale type of events where you have multiple inputs and outputs, cameras and stuff like that. You also have your monitor output which allows you to view uh, your output that's going out to your screens. And then you have your opticals in and out that help you do, once again, more cascading. And if you need to do long runs, um, you have that option as well. And then you have your typical on-off switch and your power connector, which is, is fairly standard on these units. So going from there, let's talk about the usages of this unit. So for what we do, with the, whether we're doing a wedding, corporate event, uh, bar mitzvah, just a uh, uh, EDM event, or, or some sort of uh, viewing that uses large-scale LED walls, this product is great for many reasons. First reason, which we sort of typed, uh, mentioned before, was the 10.4 million pixels. We have done so many events that you know we try to get you know one, two, three, four processors, and we end up maxing them out. And it becomes a big hassle getting all those processors to talk to each other, interface with each other, and still having problems with, you know, okay, we got 2.3 million, but if we do it in the wrong configuration, it pushes the line limits over. We have had none of those problems so far with this unit. It allows you to do 4K and beyond, which is amazing, because some of the times you push a little bit side out, outside of 4K, and you literally cannot do it with other products. Um, you need some sort of scaler or some sort of processor in between now your... Uh, content, your processor, and then your output to the LED walls or content, and then you need another processor and you have to cascade them. 
This unit, we have not had to do that yet. And we do lots of large scale events with hundreds of panels and it's been great. Um, the next thing is the latency. The latency on this is extremely low. So switching in between sources um, is amazing because you can use this as its own internal switcher with the VCAN software. So let me show you that real quick. So we have the two laptops in here and I've already brought in the HDMI 2.0 and dragged and dropped it. And I've already brought in the DVI and dragged and drop it. And with this, you can do up to three sources. So you could do three sources and then one solid background, which is amazing for events, especially if you're using some sort of other software like Resolume or um, any of the uh, VJ programs or media server software that allows you to have multiple videos set up already. So once you have that set up and scale to your LED wall, it's as simple as bringing, uh, sending it to the back, then you get your other image, and then bringing it forward. Boom, instantaneous, no extra hardware needed, no long crazy cables in between stuff, works amazing. So that has been a big uh, hassle for us because with a lot of the things we do, we have uh, multiple inputs and outputs, You know, and say we have three of them, just for an example. Three of them, normally what we would do is we'd bring them all into Resolume with a capture card and then output them to the LED wall with the mapping already done so that we have one output, we run one long run, it's done, good to go. The problem with that and the problem that we've been having, especially for the large scale ones, is delay. With the capture cards and with some of the switchers that we've worked with, it adds easily two to 10 frames of delay. And that, when you're doing a live event, can be really negative from uh, the standpoint of your live events and your singers and your, your promoter. So with this unit, that gets rid of all of that. You can sit here, have up to three inputs and outputs, scale them independently on the VCAN software, and then output them and switch in between them seamlessly. So that eliminates an extra switcher. Now, if you need to go past four sources, of course, obviously you're gonna need a switcher, but even then with this unit, you can upscale and um, map it out independently of all of your other sources. So if you need to do some fancy sort of setup, which we usually do in Resolume, we have our mapping done in Resolume here, but it's nice to have independent scaling and uh, mapping capabilities in the, uh, the processor as opposed to doing it with other hardware or other software. Um, it cuts down on cabling, it cuts down on cost for the client. Um, on that tip too, because we have these 16 ports back here, and because we have so much processing power in the unit, a lot of the times we've been bringing this unit out when we don't uh, pump out 10 million pixels, when we're doing smaller LED walls, so we can use the redundancy that's built into this. So if you have 16 outputs and you only end up using up to eight, you can use this as your own independent backup with their software. And that, you know, you can research that. We won't go into that because it gets a little bit technical, but it's a great service to use in one processor. Once again, saves you time, saves you money, saves you having to have a stack of processors and all these cables and multiple people to just get all your uh, hardware and software working together. Um, similarly, on that note, this thing is incredibly fast. So when we've been mapping this with uh, large scale LED walls with some of the other processors, not gonna mention their names, um, but sometimes you get a delay or you get uh, some issues where it's not sending properly and it's just, you know, because it's some older software, you're using older hardware and software with newer units, we've had some issues. Um, and that could be costly because you've got all these cable connections and you don't know if it's coming from the processor, if it's coming from the cable, if it's coming from the power, where it's actually coming from. So with this, it's helped us a lot with troubleshooting because when we're mapping it out, it shows you right away where everything is, how it's set up. It's extremely efficient and extremely quick. So you know whether your problem's coming from your processor, whether it's coming from power or it's a signal cable. On top of that, with this, you can go in and check out the uh, uh, Nova LCT and you get your stats that come back from all your panels as well. Um, so slowly wrapping things up, we've got this unit, we've used a lot of the other units. We love this. We would recommend this to all of our customers to use this again and again for any project, big or small, we love it. Um, 
with that, I would just like to thank uh, Fred from Pro Projectors for giving us this unit uh, today to demo, and Brad from Genesis LED for loaning us these panels to use for uh, this review. Thank you again. Please like and comment if you have any questions, and hopefully we will be seeing you soon.